welcome back to my channel. So first, apologies for the excessively comfy attire. We had a bit of a cold snap this week and honestly, I'm just too cold to not have a super comfy outer layer on. So this will keep my brain warm enough to actually do some thinking, which is really important because today's video is quarter two. So it is my quarter two plan with me and we are going to do most everything over at the table. But before we get started, I wanted to just do a sort of quick recap on a couple of things that went well and a couple of things that kind of didn't go quite so well. Nothing actually went badly, but just there's a couple of things that I wanted to kind of discuss before we take a look in my bullet journal. So first thing, um, let's start with kind of the more negative things, if you will. I think I'm going to have to adjust a couple of my top five goals again, which like, let's be honest, uh, probably everyone knew this and I was just like maintaining hopeful thinking and it was just, just not realistic. So basically the two that I really need to kind of refocus are one, my trip to Italy. Basically, I'm not going to Italy and I don't think I will be going this year, just um, I was well, like unrealistically more hopeful that things would open up by the time that April rolled around and that's just not going to be the case. So I have done a couple of things to sort of change that so that I do still have some sort of Italian exposure in my life, but it's not going to be the trip and so I think that in all likelihood, I mean absolute best case scenario is maybe I can go during my October holidays, maybe, but probably it's going to be more likely that I will end up going in 2022. Anyway, so we'll take a look at that in my bullet journal a little bit more closely, but that's kind of the first big one. The second one has to do with my Korean class. Now, there are a couple of things with this one. Um, I had this idea that I really want to have sort of an in-person class because that'll help me sort of get things going and keep things on track and all of that. The downside or the thing that I didn't consider when I was all like excited about this idea, and that's not to say that I think it was a bad idea, I think I do need a class. However, the thing that is not so great is the class that I have access to here in my town would be on Saturday afternoons and Honestly, I was overly ambitious in what I thought I would be willing to do on Saturday afternoons because the more that I started thinking about it, the more that I realized I use the weekends as a time to not leave my house. I, you know, I go into work every single day during the weekday, which is not the case for everyone who's a teacher here in France. Some people have a day off. I don't, I don't actually, I do go in every day. I you know, make sure that I get all of my grocery shopping done during the week. If I have any errands to run, I do that during the week since I do have kind of a an odd schedule day to day. And so that means that the weekends are the times where maybe I go for a walk, but for the most part, it's my time to recharge from being around humans and like specifically teenage humans all week long. And realistically, do I want to spend my Saturday afternoon because it's like, three or four o'clock in the afternoon until like five or 5.30 or something like that. Do I really wanna spend my Saturday afternoon even doing something that I want to be doing, which is a Korean class, just around other humans? And like, you know, I'm going to have to be learning Korean in French, which is going to just require more brain power. And I just don't think I'm mentally going to be up to it. Um, yeah, you know, the weekend is not really the time that I want to plan something like that. And so, um, you know, if it were the case that they offered different times and I could go on a different day, say for example, they offered it on a Friday afternoon, for example, then that might be something that I would consider. But just knowing that I really do rely heavily on my weekends to recharge, I, I don't think it's really the best option. Yes, I could probably force myself to do it, but it would be Saturdays throughout an entire school year. and. I don't think it would be the thing that would make me the happiest and so I would probably end up starting to resent the fact that I had to like leave my house to go to this class. So I do still want to do some kind of more study, like I I'd like to do more Korean studies than I am currently doing. And I have a couple of ideas on that front. I am not entirely sure what it's going to look like just because the changes that I'm making to Italian are such that I really don't think that I wanna try and do both at the same time. So I think that what I'll end up doing is focus on Korean more in quarter 
three and focus on Italian more in quarter two. I think that's kind of what that's going to end up looking like. Aside from that, I do think that the other top five goals are going pretty well. I also have another big goal that is not necessarily for this year, but is something that I'm going to start working on this year that I have added to my year-long goals and we're going to chat about it a little bit in quarter two. I'm not sure how much I'll actually get done and I think what I'm ultimately going to do is I'll have a different video kind of talking about that like sort of separately just because it's kind of a it's kind of a bigger project. So not to be like cryptic or anything but I am terrible about remembering what I say in my intro versus what I say at the table and so I want to like save all of that for at the table when I can actually show you in my bullet journal. So without further ado, let's head on over and we'll take a look at quarter one and then see what's going to end up happening hopefully for quarter two. So I have my bullet journal and let's take a peek. So um, I will show you really quick what's in my end book um, just because this doesn't necessarily fit into other parts of my planning videos that I typically film for you all. So I'll just kind of give you a look. So I have filled in a couple of little things. Um, I think I'm gonna have to update, like I've penciled in a couple of like trip ideas, but I think I'm gonna update that just with the current situation, still being in a pandemic and all of that. I'm just gonna have to update, update that. Um, but I did go ahead and I filled in staycation. Um, that was what I had written down, but I knew I wasn't gonna be going anywhere for my February holidays. I had hoped to be going to Italy for my April holidays, but I have since erased that. And I think that I'm just going to leave everything in pencil until I kind of get closer to it just because things are so up in the air and kind of probably will be for a little while. So yeah, but I mean, likelihood is I'm going to be staying here for my April holidays too. And I've got this information for Italy. So I actually, at the end, when did I do this? I think in January, maybe I actually did book my plane tickets. However, and thankfully, the plane company that I went with had some really, really nice cancellation like policies, so I actually was able to get all but five euros back of my plane tickets. So that was fantastic. So I have since canceled my plane tickets. I thought about just like bumping the date, but honestly, I don't know if I could even go this summer or in October. And so I'd rather just buy plane tickets again whenever it seems like it's going to be more likely that I can actually go. Um, I haven't actually updated this spread. So like I should cross out this flight information or really white it out for the next time. And then, you know, I have information kind of based on the dates that I wanted to do that are obviously not going to be correct whenever I do get around to doing this trip. Other things like this, like the, the side with the Italy notes, honestly, probably this information is still going to be the same, um, but I just really haven't messed around with this just because it's so up in the air when this is actually going to happen that it really isn't worth keeping up with it until I know a little bit more, so. Um, then I have my sewing. So what I did actually end up doing with this spread, and you can see I've got like little check marks and then I checked the bottom, is I went ahead and I re updated a different notebook that I've been using for sewing. I, I don't know why, I was like, oh no, I'll do this in here when I have other sewing notebooks. Like why would I do them in a non-sewing notebook? That doesn't make any sense. So I finally updated everything and put it all in a sewing notebook. So this is not a usable spread, like it's not an in-progress spread anymore. This one has since been transferred over. This one, I have Happy Mail I am super behind on as as usual, honestly. Trip ideas, this is a carryover spread from last year that I just kind of recopied quickly down here. My someday list, that one is one that I think I did at some point at the end of 2020. I don't remember exactly. And then my haircutting one, which again, I just kind of write down, sometimes I change how like short I shave my hair. And so, you know, I just do that. I, it's a silly spread, it's whatever. Um, I have my big wish list. So this actually has to do with kind of my next big project, which we'll talk about when I show you my 2021 spread. Um, but this is kind of big wish list items for things that I would eventually like to get. I'd like to order a couple of things from um, uh, Top Vintage, which is a site I found that's based in France and what Katie did, which is based in the UK, that have to do with more like kind of 50s era fashion because I've been really, really getting into that. And as much as I love the idea of doing Edwardian and Victorian, and I think I still will do some of that, I 
definitely want to have a wardrobe that I can wear that doesn't feel too costumey. And I feel like with the 50s, that's like a really sweet spot for me in terms of, I really like the silhouette, I really like a lot of the styles. They The styles kind of mesh with things that I already really like, whereas things that are more Edwardian and Victorian, there are elements that I do really like, but then there's other things that are a little bit more than what I would necessarily want to wear or just kind of seem like maybe they'd be a bit harder to wear. So anyway, uh, not to say that I'm you know, giving up on the idea of doing a couple of pieces that are more Edwardian Victorian, but I do think that the 50s is something I've liked since I was in high school, like just the fashion. And so I think that I wanna look into getting a couple of foundation garments in particular that honestly, I'm probably not gonna make. Uh, I made myself a 50s era sort of crinoline out of tulle. And it's great, it's not perfect, um, but you know, I, I'm glad that I did the process and I do actually have enough tool that I might end up making a second one, but I was thinking and looking at like what different types of petticoats and crinolines would look like and I really like a chiffon one and I know myself and I don't wanna actually make that. Like I was all for doing kind of 100% handmade wardrobe, but I think there are ultimately gonna be a couple of things that I draw the line and it'll just be, cheaper and easier and less like headache and heartache if I actually end up purchasing them. Anyway, so that is what those are. So kind of wish list for some online orders I would eventually like to do, like no big rush or anything. I definitely have plenty of clothes, but, um, and then that is the end in here. So as you can see, I don't really have a lot going on in my notes book right yet. That might change, um, but just, it's one of those kind of notebooks that I keep around because when I need it, I need it. But if I don't, then it just kind of lives in the front of my notebook cover. Anyway, moving on. So in my bullet journal, so as I mentioned, these two goals are ultimately getting a little bit tweaked. Um, my, so nationality font and no work weekends are kind of staying the same. I still haven't even finished my first font. I'm getting closer. I honestly am getting closer. I just have to do the, um, like mock-up images to kind of show like what features I have in it and what it looks like and what it could potentially look like if you wanted to like use it on like a tote bag or on a coffee mug or like stuff like that. Um, so I am getting closer. I did the licensing stuff and we're getting closer, but I'm still not done with the first one. So this one, like, we'll see, we shall see, but I'm not changing it right yet because it is, so these are ones that I'm not changing because they are still possible. Whereas these two feel less possible with the current situation. And so I'm kind of adapting them anyway. So future log, we don't really need that. So this is where things are gonna get a little bit interesting. So I have not actually up Dated everything, I've done a couple of things. So for example, on these two top five goals, I've just added online and like after a colon so that I know like I am still hoping and planning to do some kind of Italian studies and some kind of Korean studies. It's just not necessarily going to be in person. So I did update that. Um, I also changed over here. So I have, um, with my school, I am doing Italian class online. So what I've ultimately decided is I contacted the school and they are holding on to my deposit <laughs> again like they know I mean I've been in email contact with them off and on for like a year and a half at this point and so they are gonna hold on to my deposit for my in-person class which is fine like it was one of those things that I had already budgeted for so I don't really need the money back because one day I am gonna go and what I've decided to do instead is I got another round of classes with my teachers so I bought another round of 10 hours of Skype classes so I'm doing those Friday evenings I actually just had my first one last week so I'm filming on what day is it the 18th I'm filming on March 18th and so I had the first one last week on the 12th so my second one will be tomorrow because today is Thursday so I will have 10 weeks of, of Italian classes which will put me like kind of the beginning of May or mid-May, I think, yeah, mid-May. So that'll take me through mid-May. I'll just have an hour a week of Italian classes and I always have a little bit of homework to do and all of that. So just to kind of like get me back into things because to be perfectly honest, I did two rounds of Italian classes last year, no, during the summer. 
Yeah, I did two rounds during the summer and I finished like at the end of August and then I really haven't done anything since then because I went back to work and all of that and it's just been kind of busy and so I really need that sort of refresher and all of that and you know, we're jumping off like my first lesson back because the teacher knows me and because we have done 20 hours of class together, she was like, yeah, you know, even if you haven't studied for a while, like that's fine, we're gonna jump into things. So she started me off directly with like working on subjunctive, which I'm like, yay, necessary, but I don't like it. So anyway, so doing those classes, that'll finish up mid-May. And then I've also gotten a month long class. So it's, if I remember, it's an hour and a half once a week and I think the one that I'm doing is actually on Friday and so it's basically going to be kind of like an art history class I think in Italian so it is designed for intermediate and advanced students and based on my level I actually understand a lot of Italian even if I'm not necessarily the fastest at responding so I think that it's something that will be very able to do um, it might be a little bit of a challenge but I think I would definitely be able to do it and what I really like is I haven't done any group classes so this will be in small groups it'll be a different teacher which is always good to get like a different perspective on the language because I'm very used to how my teacher talks and I understand her really well. So I'm really excited to do that. So that will basically give me Italian from, you know, mid-April through the end of June. So that'll be a really good chunk of time in quarter two that I'm doing a little bit every single week, which I think is going to be great. Um, so that is the first change. The second change is I want to look into something for Korean and I think it's going to ultimately be in quarter three so I think what we're actually gonna do is quarter two we're gonna add it on here in my quarterly goals just because I don't want to forget about this because a lot of times I start talking to you all and then I'm like oh that's a great idea and then I don't write it down and I forget to actually do the thing so we're gonna write it down so I want to do this we're actually gonna update this one and I'm I'm actually gonna be really bad and actually no we're gonna just cross this out so I'm just gonna, gonna do a little cross out there and in quarter two, what I want to do is decide on Korean studies because basically Italian is going to be throughout all of quarter two. And as I mentioned in the intro, I really don't think that I can focus on two languages at once while I'm still at work. If this were the summer, that would be a different thing altogether. But right now, I mean, let's... Realistically, I work full time. I also keep up with YouTube every week. I do Patreon live chats every week as well. I have to, you know, make sure that to go with work is I have to prep and I have to grade and do all of that stuff. Plus, I want to sew. Plus, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that is going on right now, especially during the school year. And so I think that picking Italian, we're focusing on Italian, we'll do that. Then quarter three is going to be great because that is basically my summer holidays. Um, essentially by the time July hits, I really don't have any work left. I might have a couple of things, but like I'm mostly on holiday. So July and August I'm on holiday and then September I go back to work. So obviously it would be better for me to focus on Korean in July and August, but quarter three is kind of where that's going to be. So what I'm going to do is put, I need to decide what I want to do for Korean in quarter two. And then on in quarter three, we're going to do focus on Korean studies. And that way I kind of split out my projects. And I think that's going to be a lot more sustainable and a lot more manageable. And so in terms of Korean studies, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. I have this idea. So I've been using Talk to Me in Korean for a really long time. A really long time. It's been like three years. No, that's not a really long time. It's a while. Um, I've been using Talk to Me in Korean and I really love their podcast format. But I do know that because I do, I do take notes, but I kind of do treat it sort of as a podcast. And so I listen and I get the information in and I copy my notes notes and sometimes I go back and I'll re-listen to them, but I'm not really systematic about my studies. And so even though I'm at level five in terms of stuff that I have heard about before, in terms of what I could actually physically reproduce myself, I'm probably somewhere around level two, like realistically. So one of the things that I'm thinking is Talk To Me In Korean does have a monthly subscription where you get access to a bunch of their other online courses. And they've got some, one that I was really interested in was um, beginner uh, reading comprehension and they've got ones for beginner listening comprehension and that kind of stuff. So that is one possibility. Another possibility would be to try and find an online Korean teacher 
something along the lines of finding someone on italki or some other website kind of like that. The kind of hang up I have about doing something on italki is unlike with something like Italian where I already have a basis in other languages and I really just need the practice in speaking, in Korean I do actually still need a lot of like those base um like those base building blocks in order to like really be able to carry on conversations. And so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do kind of an online class uh, or not an online class, but I wanted to do a class in person because that kind of just building blocky kind of stuff works really well in a group class. And when I get to the point where I need more conversation, that is where it works really well to do kind of one-on-one -on -one classes. So I don't know if it's necessarily kind of worth it if I were to do an online class one-on-one -on -one when I'm still at this point where I just need a lot of the building blocks. So I need to kind of figure out, that is why we have this in quarter two, that I need to decide what I actually want to do. The great thing is, is I already started saving for my in-person Korean class and I'm just going to save that money and I now have a little bit of a Korean fund that I can throw towards whatever I decide to do in terms of my Korean study. So I'm not forced to focus only on free options if I think that there's going to be a pay option that is going to help me more than the free options I've been trying to use for the past like three years. So that is kind of what is going on with Korean. So let's move back to our overview. So that kind of is focusing on the language stuff. I'm going to, we'll focus more on kind of quarter one, but I wanted to kind of show you, those were the two top five goals that are kind of adjusting. The other one I want to talk to you about very briefly, and I think I'm going to do a different video to kind of go more in depth, is I've added down here, I think that in the next couple of years, I want to look into buying an apartment here in my town, just in terms of having kind of a place to call my own as a sort of investment, personal investment, that kind of thing. And um, because there are a couple of things that while I love my current apartment, there are some things that I would really like a little bit different in the place that I wanna spend, you know, the next 15 or 20 years. So I have started kind of plotting out a couple of things. So basically I'm gonna focus on doing research and some planning kind of stuff because obviously it's gonna take me a while to save money for the down payment. Obviously I'm gonna to have to get a loan, like I'm not gonna be able to buy it outright. Um, but I'm I'm starting to kind of look into that process and I figured why not just add it on to my spreads for 2021. It is not a top five goal at this point. It is kind of a big goal and it is an important one, but I don't really have like a solid time frame in mind right now. So I think it's much more likely that it might become a top five goal in 2022, but I am gonna Going to start working on it now. So that is, you know, kind of TBD sort of situation. And yeah, so let's go ahead and you can see I have kind of finished a couple of things over on my 2021 spreads and I have kept this kind of up to date, but we're going to go ahead and look at quarter one because it's a little bit more like focused. So in quarter one, I have my top five. I had broken down where I wanted to start booking Italian stuff um, work on my French nationality um, application and do no work weekends. I actually have done pretty well on this. I didn't book going to Italy, but I actually did book and I've started Italian classes. So I'm calling that one completely done. I actually have started collecting documents and I think that we can count this as a done one. So let's go ahead and update this. So I've started collecting documents. I definitely have to do more. I'm not at all finished with this, but I have done kind of what I wanted to do in quarter one. And then in terms of no work weekends, let's go ahead and take a look on that page, which is somewhere over here. I didn't even think to show you. So in my top five goals, I did actually white out some stuff for Italy and added a couple of things. And then I really just added in this online class bit over here, but I kind of left everything else for Korean. Since I need to kind of decide on what I want to do in quarter two, I decided I would just leave the spread until I was ready to deal with it. But Focusing on this one, no work weekends. I had one week that I actually worked, but other than that, I've been doing pretty well. Um, I will not cross this out quite yet just because I have two more weekends in a, no, March. Two more weekends in March, um, but I think it's looking pretty good that I will only have had one weekend out of the fall of quarter one that I did actually do some work. In terms of trips and money, I have been saving. It's one of those things I do every single month and I just kind of kept up with it. So I actually um, went ahead and I kind of added up month to month what I throw into the personal savings accounts versus the trip savings accounts. So I have been doing basically what my goals were. I've actually done 
on at least 100 or almost 200 euros more than that, so that is fantastic. In terms of creating, I started an embroidery project, but I haven't finished, and I don't think I'll probably finish before the end of quarter one, just because I only have like two weeks left, but I'm not really worried about that. It's a fun little project for me to work on. I made two from Make Nine, I actually technically made three, because I made a crinoline, I made a top, and I made two, actually I made two tops based on kind of my planning. I made a button-up top and I made a lantern sleeve top, and then I also made two circle skirts, which one of the circle skirts I made in 2020, and I think one of them I finished in 2021. I don't remember exactly, but we are doing really well on the Make, five, on the make Nine. Um, I haven't finished any quilts, and I don't think I will in the next two weeks. I did also start planning fabric for my Make Nine, but honestly, my sewing projects are never as linear as I think that they're going to be, and so I've started different projects in the meantime that have nothing to do with my Make Nine, and honestly, that's totally okay. I might end up updating things depending on what it looks like I am going to end up sewing this year. I actually have a lot of more 50s era stuff that I would really like like to work on making and so maybe what I do is I update my make nine to be more of like 50s and then save the Victorian and Edwardian for next year I don't even know we'll see how that goes but I have started kind of planning um, I am sort of saving money not as actively I have a lot of like random little savings goals that I'm working on so that one's kind of taking a back burner because I did buy a fair bit of fabric recently and so I'm trying to sort of make my stash at this point and I'm actually I just decided last night that I'm going to go on a fabric ban through the end of April and <laughs> We'll find out if I'm actually really good about this. I'm gonna try my best. I have plenty of fabric, that's the thing. I have plenty of fabric, but sometimes I see something, I'm like, oh my gosh, but what if it's not there in a month? So we're gonna try it. I need to spend you know, the next month and a half really focusing on sewing up projects that I've already cut out, cutting out projects for fabric that I already have. Um, I did actually do a huge purchase of threads, and I usually have a pretty good stockpile of notions, so I'm hoping that even if I you know, go through a bunch of projects at home that I shouldn't need to go to the fabric store to really buy anything. Um, the one exception might be I have a dress that I'm going to be making for a friend as a belated birthday present and I have to check my thread and see if I have matching thread. If I don't have matching thread, I will have to go and buy that just because, yeah, like I, I need to make her birthday present and like literally have the fabric already. So anyway, but hopefully I have thread that I can use in my stash. So that is the create side of things on this. So home, I've already read 13 books. I've actually already read like 30 three or 34 books, I think. Um, and aside from reading some in French, so I think I've read, I read two or three Death Note, um, so manga in French. I think I might have read something else in French and I'm currently reading Diary of Anne Frank in Spanish. Aside from those, everything that I've read has been an audiobook. I've just finally given in. I'm just on a super audiobook kick right now, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. And so I've like blown my reading goals out of the water just because I can listen a lot when I'm working on random other stuff that I can't do if I were to sit on my couch and read an ebook. Um, in terms of this one, going through clothes and shoes, I need to kind of go through through and see is there anything that I really am not wearing so now that we're kind of getting to the end of winter is there anything that I really didn't wear in the winter season in terms of clothing or shoes or what have you I need to make sure I have a good list and I'm starting to put money aside to resole shoes that need to be resold um, I need to also like dry clean all of my winter coats because I haven't done that in a while and so I'd like to do that you know say in like May when I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need them dry clean them and then put them away in my closet and like be done with that so I've started, I actually have done a couple of like kind of mini go-throughs of stuff, but I feel like I'm not quite finished. So that's why it's only halfway done. Um, I followed up with my landlords about the balcony doors. So that is good. Researching skillets. This is one that I kind of added like on a whim and I think I'm not going to deal with it right yet. Like honestly, and you know what? We're going to just, we're actually going to change this. We're, we're going to do this for apartment stuff because that is like a more logical thing to do and um because the thing is i can research skillets all i want but unless i have the money to pay for them then that doesn't really make any sense and i don't have the money to pay for them yet so research um apartment apartment slash loan and i've actually already done that and you'll see that in another video hopefully soonish we'll see i'm gonna work on that one um i'm calling that good did I just do a did a task? Yes, yes I did because 
Why not? I'm, they're my goals. I'm allowed to change them. Anyway, so language stuff. I am doing really well on this. So I have read two books in French. I think it's actually closer to like three. I am currently reading one in Spanish. Honestly, I probably won't finish reading it in quarter one just because it's like 400 pages long and I read like 15 or 20 minutes before I go to bed. So it, just, it takes a while. Um, but I am currently working on that one. I've been reading every single night for the last like I don't know, a month and a half or whenever I started it. And finishing Talk To Me In Korean level five, I have two lessons to go before I finish level five and I have two more weeks left in April, no, March. I keep thinking it's April. Two more weeks left in March and so I will finish that one assuming I do my one lesson a week. So that is really good. We're on track to kind of complete these. And then, for sunshine and stationery, I actually have done all of these. So I had to pay my quarter four taxes for my um, LLC, brainstorming videos and live chats, updating my website, finally did that. It took me several hours one day, but I finally got that kind of up to date. I need to make sure I update again in the next like month or so, so I don't let it get too out of control again. And then working on the YouTube backlog. So in terms of quarter one goals, I would say overall things are going really well. Like everything's kind of in progress and the things that aren't finished aren't like urgent things that I need to have finished. They're just kind of ongoing projects that I want to be working on. The other side is my running list. And I actually, whoops, there we go. Got the, the little header there. The, uh, the thing I really like about this running list is I can kind of dump things on here and just sort of work on it when I've got time. So I did actually do some work on my first font. I got the licenses all done up. I still need to do like the marketing stuff. So those are specifically the mock-up images. And then I need to like deal with launching. Happy Mail, <laughs> obviously not. I'm in progress on the nationality dossier, which is kind of silly that I have it here because it's also a top five goal. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna actually fill that one in. We're, we're calling that one finished. Here we go. I have a couple of things. These will end up getting migrated. So for example, replacing a shredder, looking for a rolling cart because I would like to move my guillotine paper cutter, so Marie, um, under my desk in order to make use of the current table. But like, it's kind of a someday project. Like it's not super urgent. So I have it on here, but maybe I need to move it someplace else. I don't know, we'll see about that. I did clean my washing machine. I need to work on filing paperwork and getting rid of receipts. I'm having a little bit of um, like condensation and like a mold issue in my bathroom and it's something that I have to deal with. I have to do a like an insurance something or other. Anyway, but um, just that was to kind of clean things up. This is all the grading that I've done so far. I have done 12, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Apparently I've done 18. And actually I had 15 assignments to grade during my holidays and I am down to three left of the original. So I've actually graded 12 of the original assignments and this is actually just starting from January. So there are a couple more that I did a while ago. Uh, but like, yeah, the grading was getting out of hand. Um, and then these are just some general like cleaning things I need to do. I definitely need to work on that. Ooh, I actually cleaned my serger and rethreaded her. So she is good to go. So honestly, a lot of these are probably gonna end up getting migrated again. I have finished a couple of things and I might do some that I migrate to a longer term project in my end book, for example, and some that I migrate to my running list for quarter two. We'll see how that goes. So that is my look at quarter one. So also we completely skipped past this. So this is my quarter one intro page. I am going to do this again because I quite like it actually. I don't know what I'll end up doing for the extra page. We'll take a look at that in a second. But I did start booking my Italian classes. I did the online. I'm calling that one good. Finishing the French project page. I actually did finish that. We're going to call that one good. And I'm gonna wait for the no work weekends, but actually, you know what, we're gonna cross this one out. We'll wait and do the other one later. But you know, I had one week that I didn't do, but overall I was really good about that and I I'm calling it a win. So that is for my intro page. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for my quarter two intro page. So what my top three are gonna be. And we need to work on setting up the quarter two, whoops, get in frame, the quarter two page and the running list. And then it just jumps into the next month. So it's a really quick setup, which is why I kind of went in depth in the explanation side of things, since I know that the setup paid, like the setup itself is gonna be a little shorter. Also, you'll probably see this in my April plan with me, but this is my current 100 days of ballet. I'm actually 
38 days in and at 50 days, so over here, I get to buy myself some ballet slippers. So I am super excited. I've definitely like the last sort of five or six days, I've been really slow going and just doing little bits at a time because I was really busy with work and trying to just maintain balance. But it's been really nice having that to do every day, a little bit in the morning and all of that. So yay. All right, so this is my current week. As you can see, it is week 11. It is currently the 18th. Oh, I didn't actually do this. Hold on a second. Woo, no. Just like threw my pen at myself, that's cool. So I've been doing a little drop shadow because this yellow pencil sign pen is super cute, but not actually very legible even. Like in person, I can definitely see it, but it's just not as legible as it could be. So. I've been doing the little drop shadow for each day and I just forgot to do it for today. So I am gonna just update my, oops, my little bit here. So I'm actually working on filming. My goal is to film three videos today. We'll see if that gets done. I like absolutely need to film two. So we'll call it, we'll call it two. I'm in the middle of the first one. So as you can see over here on my weekly, I've actually got, whoops, in the middle of the first one there. And there's not really anything I can do there yet. So. Basically, if I look at, whoops, March, it is currently this week, and that means I need one more week because this is only three days, it's gonna go in April. So in order to have enough room to finish out March and then start quarter two, I just need to have one more spread. So we are gonna go ahead and flip here. And then I am gonna have an extra page, which I don't know what I'll end up doing with, but I'll probably, I'll figure something out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my quarter two spread right over here, just because the way that my quarter one is set up, it only takes three pages. And I really like that. I don't think it's really necessary for me to have anything else. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. And you know, maybe what I'll end up doing no, that wouldn't make any sense. I was thinking, oh, I could put my April anti-racism tracker over here, but that doesn't make any sense because this is the beginning of a quarter. <sighs> I don't know, we'll figure it out later. So we will figure it out, maybe, maybe I'll let her, like who even knows? Um, so this one there, we're gonna start here. I needed to triple check that just to make sure. So what we are gonna do, I have pulled out a couple of pens. I have my Microns and I have two of my favorite sign pens. So this is the Tombow Fudnosuke, it's the soft tip. I basically, if there's ever a choice between a hard and a soft tip, I choose soft tip. I find it just so much easier um, to like manipulate and like make my lines look nice. And then of course, pencil sign pen. And this one is actually the super, super fine one that I got in Korea. So we are going to just kind of refer and actually, oop, I'm gonna just throw this in here as a bookmark. So we are gonna just refer back to kind of how I set this up. So I'm gonna do it very similarly, and I think what I'm gonna do is just stick, since I don't have to write on the left page, I'm just gonna stick my end book in here so I can easily flip back and forth. So I think we're gonna just set it up kind of the same way. Oh, I guess I need my ruler, don't I? Which just lives, oh no, in here. So yeah, let's just wing it, cool. So, and I thought that for this one, I wouldn't do a time lapse since I think the actual setup part of it is gonna be pretty quick. I thought I would just kind of chat instead of doing a time lapse, which as you know, may or may not end in tears on my part, depending on whether or not I mess up spelling something. <laughs> Core, there we go. So we're gonna just do, this is one of my like random, little styles that I will do where I make everything kind of fit and I will choose between the capital or lowercase version of a letter depending on what sort of takes up more space on the line. So quarter two, it's actually pretty centered. Cool. And then I think I'm gonna just do my little one. So wait, that means we're April, May, and June. So April to June. I'm just gonna do all caps because, because, just the aesthetic I want, April to June, I said. Oops, I feel like this pen is either gonna start, whoops, running out of ink or I'm gonna start getting some fraying on my nib just cause it's so delicate. Okay, so April to June and then what's my next bit? Top three. I think I'm actually gonna do we're gonna do copper. No, we're gonna, 
you know what? Yes, we're gonna do copper. Why not? I was like, no, I should keep it all in like black and like black ink or whatever, because that's what I did the last time. Eh, who cares? We'll do it in black and copper. So we are just gonna do. Ooh, I think I'm gonna start running out of ink on this one. I can tell there's like one side that's starting to lose its shimmer a little bit, which is sad. And <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna do our little lines. So in terms of the top three goals for, and I'm just kind of arbitrarily gonna decide, and I actually wanna do it, so I wanna have my box that's not on the line because that just makes more sense to me. We're gonna do it, no, wait, two more. You're gonna be like, wait, how did you decide that? There's a reason, there's a reason. So we're gonna do one, so wait, skipping one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure, why not? And two, four. It's a little high, but like, who cares? And by who cares, I mean I don't care. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is skipping over a tad. And I always, by the end of the quarter, I don't remember what pen I actually did to do this, so I just use whatever black pen I have. So uh, basically I went too longer on this side because I knew I wanted to skip over and that kind of kept it a little bit more centered looking. Literally no other reason. So. In terms of our top three goals, what do we want to do? Maybe we should set up quarter two goals and then decide on the top three. That actually feels like a smarter choice. So we are going to go ahead. I can't use that now because I actually am going to need to write on the leftmost page. So we're going to just take out bookmarks. There we go. So in terms of quarter two, I'm going to have, I think, similar sections. And actually what I need, all right, we're going to just like pull out cards and stuff because we need bookmarks. So finding our 2021 goals, what do we want to kind of focus on? So I think that I'm going to start level six of Talk To Me In Korean. I think I'm going to do, oh wait, I'm for sure past. <laughs> I've, I've definitely read over 25 books. I'm halfway through this. Cool. Go through clothes and shoes. Oh wait, because I started crossing it off on here and not there. That was silly of me. There. Okay, so this is like not actually done, but I don't have a good timeline on that, so I think I'm not going to necessarily like pull that over. I think I might want to do some stuff about the apartment, so like maybe some more money stuff in quarter two. Mm, okay, so let's go ahead and label. We're going to just like plop some stuff in here, we're gonna label top five. So how do I do this? Q2 goals. All right, let's do the regular Pentel sign pen. I want a little bit of a thicker nib. So, so Q2, whoopsie, making a mess. Okay, and then I'm also gonna just go ahead and set up my running list because then I can, like done with the headers, move on to other stuff kind of thing. Just arbitrarily choosing a writing style. <laughs> I honestly do not even go into these knowing what I want it to look like. Like I have my quarter one that I'm kind of basing it off of, but sometimes I end up changing the writing style and sometimes I keep it the same and there's honestly no no rhyme or reason whatsoever it's just kind of whatever comes to me like did I need to dot those eyes no but I did it's fine okay so let's go ahead and do this one because that is something really easy to do I skipped in two lines okay so we're gonna do it just here because I didn't actually use up the entire the entire spread so I don't think I need to worry too much about that. So we do J S P. So work, sunshine, and stationary, and personal. So we're going to do that. Then, in terms of our goals, we are going to do top five. Oops. I'm going to basically have kind of two columns as as I usually do. So we're just going to do kind of here. So top. Five. I think I'm gonna do a money 
section like over here more or less I'm like not even measuring it's fine okay we're gonna do a money section so let's start with these two and then move our way down so in terms of what I had done for last quarter so we need to look at doo -doo -doo, my top five goals so for Italy honestly Italy's not even gonna go on the list because I'm doing my Italian classes and so I am just doing that, but it's not me working towards this. Like basically, I think by mm, June-ish, no, actually it might take a little while. Um, I'll be done with saving for the trip whenever I take it and I can't actually plan anything. So I think I'm not gonna focus on this one yet because I can't really do anything. This one, I think we're gonna start with Korean. That is gonna be our kind of top one. So this one, I'm just gonna use this random uni ball pen because why not? So top five, we're gonna start with Korean. And our goal is going to be decide on studies and up buy or book. And we're also gonna do Talk to Me in Korean level six. So there's three months. We're gonna say about 12 lessons because I do like one a week and there's roughly 12 weeks in a quarter. So we're just gonna call it that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't, there we go. Can't get my stencil up. So I think that'll be plenty for Korean. There, and then I also have this one over here. So that'll be good for that one. And then in terms of no work weekend, honestly, no work weekend is just an ongoing one. I'm kind of not even sure if I need to put it on here because I know I have the tracker every week. That's like an, uh, yeah, let's not do that. Okay, so font. The real question with font is, do I think I'm going to realistically actually finish the marketing images for my first font by the end of quarter one? Probably not. Let's put it on quarter two. So we're gonna do font, first font, mockups, and launch. There, okay, we're gonna do that. And I will probably end up, even if I do have a burst of like productivity and inspiration and I get the first font done, I think I'm not even gonna mess around with starting the second font until quarter three probably, just knowing how long it took me to do the first one, like let's be real. All right, next one is, uh, I should probably add first font to this particular one, but we'll do it later. For the next one, what do I need to do? Oh, I know what we need to do. So, I need to deal with, um, I have to get like an FBI background check. And I also, so plus French. So I need to do, um, I need to figure out the FBI background check and ideally like do it. So FBI check. So we're gonna do research, do it. Question mark. So the kind of question is, can I do it from France? Or is it something that I either have to go into Paris for, to like the embassy, or do I have to go back to the US? So I'm not enti entirely sure yet. And then I'm also going to work on, so collect documents. I'm like working on that. Some of them I kind of have to collect last second, but I just need to make sure I've got everything like sorted. And the other thing is, oh here, study for test, or no, study for interview. Study for interview. That's a lot of top five. Oh well, you know what? We're gonna not do some other stuff. So, is this potentially like overly ambitious for me to do during the end of the school year? Maybe, but we're gonna find out. So here. So we're good on the top five, which means I can take out that bookmark because now our next bit is going to be for, wait, do I not have, right, there you are. Okay, so let's take a look at what I didn't do in quarter one. So I think that what I wanna do is do not necessarily a trips one, we're gonna call it a money one. And I wanna do, okay, how do we wanna do this? So I think one of the things that I wanna do is a 34 day reset from YNAB. So, so 34 day reset. 
and my hope is to do it with a friend of mine so that we are accountability buddies. So I guess I could have zoomed in for, for you all. All right, so I wanna do a 34 day reset with YNAB. I want to do an appointment with my bank guy. I know who I mean. Although to be fair, in like three years, I may not know what I mean. Um, so appointment with my bank guy, I wanna talk about, potentially talk about a loan, just like initial chat. Um, although I might end up talking, trying to talk to somebody else about that. And then there's also a thing that my bank offers that I wanna maybe look into that's more on the investing line of things. So I think I wanna deal with that in quarter two. What else do I have? And then savings. So I wanna do save. Uh, so we are gonna do personal, and I'm doing the French <laughs> abbreviation for that, personal apartment. Oh no, I need to skip a line. <sighs> Caitlin, focus. Okay, personal apartment and trip. Okay, so let's go ahead. No, not you, I need this. Also, I love how I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a really chatty like intro and kind of go in depth about explaining everything because this isn't gonna be super long and this is actually gonna be super long, like, whoops. But, but hopefully some of this information will be helpful and if not, I can make quarter three shorter. So let me know. So in terms of savings, I wanna do kind of a general goal. So the reason that I've skipped a line is I wanna have my general goal and then I wanna do my little tracker for each month because I think that really kind of helps me rather than trying to figure it out at the end, every month, like when I go through and I do my YNAB, I can just like drop in there how much of this is going into like personal apartment or a trip. So. The problem is I need to actually look at my YNAB and see what a realistic amount for quarter two is going to be. So I'm gonna leave that blank for right now just because this is already long enough. We'll deal with that later. Um, so I think in terms of money, that is good. Yeah, I think that's what we wanna do for that one. So let's just take a peek. Yes, we're working on this stuff. Okay. And I actually have, this is for the apartment safe down payment. You see, these are my extra stickers from the choose to do overlay tapes that I just have on this card here um, for whenever I need them. Anyway, uh, so our next one is home. Is it even worth writing in to do three books? Because, or 13 books, gosh, 13 books, because I've already read like 30. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Okay, so let's do home next. Uh, what size here? I did this micron. So we are gonna just skip a line here. This is gonna be very full, which means I have too many things. I'm hoping that it also means that I'm detailing stuff a little bit more like carefully, but we'll see. And I'm gonna do create under this one. So we're gonna just go ahead and do that and that. So there. So this is going to be read 13 books. I wanted to read five French and three Spanish. The question is do, so we're going to say read, whoops, no, let's actually drop it down. So let's do read one French and read one Spanish. Yeah. I still want to do it. Ah, uh, you know what? We're going to do Italian. Since I'm focusing on Italian in quarter two, it makes sense to put that as a goal in quarter two. There. What else? Um, so that, oh, I should have put that in the language. <laughs> Ugh, Caitlin. Anyway, it's fine. Going through clothes and shoes. Some of this stuff I kind of don't think I'm gonna necessarily do. What else do I have in my 2021 list? This one, honestly, I've got under the top five. I'm not gonna do that one there. It's fine. This one we've started doing. This one, ooh, actually, yeah, let's do that. This one I've actually already got on money, but we're gonna do apartment spreads. So this is gonna be loan info rooms. That's gonna make more sense uh, when I actually film the video about this. <laughs> but I've started actually, so I think that finishing that in quarter two would be really good. There, so I've actually started this one and I'm pretty, pretty close. Maybe not entirely, I probably have some more stuff. Kind of started these two, 
So we're doing that. So this is something that is gonna be a carryover from quarter one because I don't think I'll necessarily have time in quarter one to actually finish them. And even if I do, I don't care. I still need to get it done. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. So creating. We're gonna do an embroidery project. I think we're gonna focus on the quilt. And I think we're gonna focus on the undergarment side of, so embroider beret. There's a T at the end of that, cool. I wanna finish all well quilts. I think that's the first one that'll get done. I wanna finish that. Make nine, make two undergarments, cause that'll be one of the kind of sections, cause I split everything in like three. Um, that'll be one of the sections if I can start on that, that would be great. And I'm gonna leave that, honestly. Oh, also we're doing Me Made May. Me Made May. We're gonna plan and we're gonna do it. Cause I have some information in uh, my collection bullet journal about what I wanted to do for that. But I'm thinking that I want to do definitely like photo documentation and all of that. But I think what I also wanna do is maybe do kind of like a vintage twist, see how many sort of vintage -y outfits I can make based on the me made stuff and just other stuff in my wardrobe too that I already have. Um, so I think we're gonna do that. Then I'm actually gonna kind of leave fabric off for right now. Let's do sunshine and stationery. So I think I'm like really squishing this, but that's fine. In terms of language stuff, I already have stuff up here. I'm gonna call it good. Okay, so we're gonna do, wait, what are, what's the next one? SNS, that's what, haha, <laughs> here. So I need this, do that over here. Honestly, one of the reasons that I don't go super in depth in the create thing on my quarterly goals is, as I mentioned, my sewing projects tend to be very non-linear. And so these are like kind of general goals, but the reality is I will probably sew a bunch of other stuff that does, doesn't even make it on the list. And like, that's totally fine. But I'd like to kind of work on these sort of bigger overarching projects that I've been wanting to work on for a while, which is why we have them on here. So this is gonna be, I have to do pay quarter one taxes. For my LLC, gotta do that. Update website. Website. YouTube backlog. And you know what we're gonna do? Plan for July hiatus. I think I'm gonna do a hiatus the first two weeks of July like I did last year. Although last year I did it because I had to. This year I think I wanna do it because I need to bring it, like, work in a couple of breaks throughout the year just to kind of give, like, release some of the pressure. So I think I wanna plan, you know, by June, start planning content so I can do a YouTube hiatus and kind of, you know, make sure I remember to announce it and all of that. Not that I think you guys are like chomping at the bit for new videos, but I don't know, I just feel like communication is good and I should let you know what's happening. Anyway, so I think we're actually gonna stop there in terms of the goals just because We've got a lot, like this is actually kind of a lot of stuff. I'm also gonna not transfer over my running list quite yet just because I do still have a little bit left before the end of the month and I kinda wanna consider whether or not I want to move stuff to quarter two or move stuff to a someday maybe list kind of thing over here. So the last thing I do actually wanna do with you all is this, top three. So the top three doesn't necessarily have to be, also this is bugging me because it's not very neat. Sorry, that's a little better, sort of. Okay, so the top three don't necessarily have to be my top five goals. They could just be like the mo three most important things I actually wanna work on. Now, the reality is, yes, I probably actually most of the time do choose stuff for my top five goals, but I think we're actually not going to this time. I think we're not. So I think what I wanna do mm -hmm, is, we are gonna focus on the first one. I wanna do this 34 day reset. I want that to be a top three for the month. I think that's gonna be good. We're gonna do that. And we are also gonna do plan Korean studies. I think that one needs to be a top priority because I need to get serious about ramping up my studies in like a logical way because I've been going about it kind of haphazardly for a couple of years and I think I want to try and like be a little bit more uh, regimented almost a little bit more intentional in the way that I go about my studies. So that is going to be a top three and a final one. You know what? I'm going to put my first font. I haven't done it in a while and it's been a minute and I feel like we're getting close. I should have done these in the middle. 
Oh, that makes me sad. Ugh, I'm not gonna fix it, it's fine. So, launch first font. We're calling it that. I'm like so close, it's ridiculous if I don't finish it. So I think those are gonna be our top three for quarter two. So just to do a quick little flip through and show you quarter two. So I have my intro page with my top three, which I feel like really good about these top three. I mean, we'll see at the end of quarter two how I still feel about them. But for right now, I feel like that's a good choice or they are good choices. And then my quarter two goals, which feels a little bit dense. I do still have some space left, but it feels a little bit dense, but I'm hoping that it's because I tried to like kind of break down some more little bits. I do still have a little bit of room if I wanna add something because something always changes. Um, I do also, I need to figure out the amounts I'd like to save in each of these three categories over the course of those three months that are in quarter two, which I have to do after looking at my budget. And kind of what I'd like to do is sort of figure out what I normally save and then make it a little bit higher to kind of, because one of the things I'd like to do with the 34 day reset is work on reducing some of my other expenses that I maybe spend more money than I really Really need to I'm sure I have some and funnel that more into savings since I do have a couple of really big savings goals that I want to work towards and then running list that one I will also be dealing with a little bit later so oh no I got some transfer nerds hold on let's see if we can erase this darn okay well that's not gonna erase that probably means that this this pen does take a little bit longer to dry than this pen does but what I like is that it's a little bit thicker and so for doing gold pages like this I actually really like using a 0.38 versus a 0.25 but I think I flipped the page over before this section was fully finished drying and so I got some transfer when I was writing on the top three anyway it's fine so that is it for the table let's head back on over and do a quick little wrap-up so there you have it my quarter two plan with me and I feel pretty good about the changes that I've made so in terms of the changes to my two top five goals and adding in some stuff looking for apartments even though that's definitely like a longer term project I feel like I am getting better at sort of breaking down my goals and trying to really think about what I can realistically do in a three month period obviously there are certain things for example the font I actually could have gotten a lot more done with that font last year or this year, like quarter one and all of that. It's just one of those things that with all my other projects, it kind of falls to the wayside. So, you know, sometimes when I say, oh yeah, I definitely could do this, it doesn't necessarily mean I will get to everything and that's, that's fine. I feel like it's easy to, it's easy to forget that I don't need to be spending all of my time doing projects or I don't need to be spending all of my time just like working on stuff that creates things or whatever. Sometimes I really just want to spend some time listening to audiobooks or watching some TV or just doing something that's fun and has no particular goal in mind. And I am definitely, I'm probably better than some about making sure I take time to rest, but I am, I definitely do fall into that habit of thinking like, oh, but I could be doing more just because I have all of these grand ideas and then it gets down to it on the actual day to day, like breakdown of time. And I can't work nonstop. You know what I mean? Like your, your brain eventually is just like, nope, we're not doing this or your body is tired or whatever. So I'm, I'm really trying to get better about deciding on my quarterly goals in a way that is slightly more realistic. I also just realized that I didn't actually go through the stuff that was on my quarterly breakdown. And so I will have to do that because I think there were a couple of things. I think a couple of the things made it onto my quarter two goals, but I think there were a couple of things that I had sort of forgotten about that were on that and not on my quarter like my yearly overview so I do need to make sure I remember to do that but I will end up once I kind of finish um, everything and finish the running list and all of that I will end up putting a picture of sort of the final spreads on Instagram so that you all can see it and I will also you know you'll see whatever I ended up setting up when we also do the quarter three spread and this future and all of that so I'm not super worried about that but I just remembered that I forgot to do that but anyway I definitely am feeling a lot more motivated and a lot more just I feel like I have a lot more energy in general and it definitely has a lot to do with the fact that I did take that break in February and I really like use my holidays to rest up and all of that but it also has to do with the fact that I like my spirit comes alive in spring like I don't know what it is but like spring for me and I'm always like oh I love fall I love fall like no spring for me is where I have so much energy and I'm like bursting with ideas and all of that 
And so I am really hoping to kind of lean into that and get a lot done in quarter two. Obviously I am still working um, the school year and sort of mid June for us. And so like more or less. And so I will have to kind of temper myself in April and May just because I won't have quite as much time, but I do have another um, set of school holidays at the end of April into May. And we also have a couple of just like bank holidays in actually in both April and May. It's like kind of the one time of the year that we have some bank holidays here in France. We very rarely have just like a one-off day off of school kind of thing. Like we typically just have our big school holidays and then it's like May that we have that. Anyway, so, so if you have any comments or questions about my quarter two goals or, you know, stuff in general, let me know. I will see you back here next week for my April plan with me, which should be really fun. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the color scheme and what the quote ends up being. So that is all I have for you today. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys. So if you've made it all the way to the end of this video and are actually watching my end screen and you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would. There's a little button right there for you to do it. And if you're interested in watching some more of my videos, I have links to two of my older videos off to the left there. So you can check those out if you would like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.